talking uh, casually, I suppose, for quite some time, and we've had a New Zealand arm of fair, uh, the fair trade agreement in place for several months now, uh, but this is expanding it to a, a more global footprint. So what actually has happened today in terms of the... We're, we're bringing in the, so um, the international yeah, guys. Yeah, uh, uh, Fair Deal was founded. Susan, when did we found Fair Deal? A year and a half ago? Um, yep, can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, so uh, Fair Deal was launched at NetSui last year. Um, and July. we've really come a long way since then. If we can take a look back um, and see the... We've had several events for negotiators, for example. Um, we hosted a luncheon uh, for all of the IP negotiators during the Auckland round of negotiations. Um, and the coalition members have been present at four of the negotiation rounds since then. So today, um, what, what marks today is the fact that we are expanding um, internationally. Uh, you could say that we had international allies before, but now we're really launching a new uh, website that has a generic top-level domain, a .org uh, domain. So that's ourfairdeal.org. And the importance of today is that we've been able to take what has been cultivated in New Zealand, uh, that breadth and that diversity that Steve was talking about, and we've kind of, it's, it's almost like a New Zealand Inc. story, I guess you could say. We've exported that. Um, and people have embraced it in other countries, and Steve and Open Media, um, Myra from EFF, Ellen Broad from Australian Digital Alliance in particular have been extremely um, helpful and hardworking in helping to build our network. So we can really think about this as an expansion of networks across a very diverse group of um, interested parties in copyright um, from artists to internet users, to those um, who are blind or have low vision, consumers, librarians, students, universities, um, internet businesses, innovators, open source advocates. Um, these are all part of the coalition, and so we're just extending our network today um, into six of the 12 negotiating countries of the Trans-Pacific so, so this was a New Zealand born organization, New yeah. 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 and the yeah. yeah. members were yourselves. But, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, which are the six countries that, that, are, that are now represented? Uh, so we have we, to make sorry, Carol. Susan. Okay, so we have New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the U.S., um, Chile, um, Peru, actually, and Japan. So that's seven. Okay. Yeah. It's still pending, but it's likely they're going to. Uh, since we launched the uh, .org website, what, three days ago, how many uh, signatures do we have on the international version of the petition? Do we know that? Uh, yeah, there's already been uh, 15,000 people um, or around the world who have uh, signed on to the statement there. Since Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Wow. Going quite nicely. Awesome. Yeah, we expect that to, to continue to grow. And I think one thing I'd just like to add to Susan's comments um, is that, um, you know, I, I think that one reason we started talking about Fair Deal International is because a lot of us from, from other countries, um, when we saw the New Zealand Fair Deal Coalition, we said, you know, we, we want to be a part of that because we think that there's uh, an opportunity for us to set a positive vision um, and our own Trans-Pacific Partnership, but one that is actually expands opportunities for creators and businesses um, and consumers. And so I, I think that's really the genesis of it, is that it, it's, it's something that's really appealing to people really around the world. And, and I think that uh, that's why you'll probably see more people signing onto this statement going forward. I expect thousands more will sign it. And I think we'll see more and more organizations. You know, we're just taking this off now, and I already in my inbox for organizations, businesses, um, you know, uh, consumer groups, creator groups, um, emailing me asking if they can join on. So I think it's a really um, attractive kind of approach that um, I'm hoping that the uh, negotiators um, understand that this is the way that, that the world 
should be going into the 21st century. Thanks, Steve. All right then. Well, I think, uh, barring any further questions from elsewhere uh, or any comments, uh, we'll draw this to a close. Thank you all for coming along, and thanks everyone for enduring the technical difficulties of the internet. One day we'll get it sorted, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Paul, for emceeing, and thanks everybody for coming. Thanks all. Thank Bye. you, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, Susan. <coughs>